Let me just say that I'm a person who will tell you if I was wrong. And in 2018, I bought this Bowflex Max M8. I absolutely love this machine. If I was going to say that I could only have one device in my home gym, I would get rid of everything and keep this Bowflex Max. And let me tell you why. Over the years, I found out that if you use this as it's intended for interval training, you can definitely lose body fat. You can lose visceral fat. And in a short amount of time, you could do 7 minutes or 14 minutes every morning or extend it up to 21 or 30 minutes, however long you've got. If you just do it every day, you will lose fat. Now, that's not that this machine is magical. You're obviously going to have to um, potentially adjust your eating because you lose fat based on calories in versus calories out. But this has kind of like what a lot of people refer to as an afterburn effect where when the workout's done, because of the type of intensity that you're doing, it continues to work throughout the day, even though you've stopped using it. And that seems to help, according to a lot of scientific studies for interval training, that seems to help burn fat. So... When I got this, I did not subscribe to the Journey subscription, and that's really what this is about. I just use the standard built-in workouts. There's a 7-minute, a 14-minute, a 21-minute manual, some other ones. I would just use those, and then on my Polar Watch, and I'll link to the videos where I discuss this, I would create my own workouts based on interval training, and then I would use my polar watch as kind of like what drove my workout. So when I got where I wanted to do more than what was built in, the 21 minute, then I would just switch over to manual mode and do those workouts. However, I wanted to get back into running. So I bought a Bowflex T22 treadmill just a few weeks ago. And it come with a free subscription one year for the journey app and that's the first time I ever used journey I actually had a free one-year subscription with journey on that but I didn't want to pay you know once it come up I think it's $149 a year I didn't want to pay extra for workouts I'd probably never use because I was using my watch right so let me just go ahead and start up the Bowflex. It'll be easier to show you on this one than the other one. But So the, the treadmill has the screen built in where the Bowflex Max, I use a tablet. Now the newer Bowflex Maxes, they have the screens built in also. But what you do when you go into like workouts, you have, these are my favorites. I've favorited a lot of them. So you go up to like just for you and that's kind of like it will show you like what it recommends that you should do. And there are workouts listed there. And that's based on time. You can select the time interval you want. You can select the difficulty level you want. And then it will suggest workouts. Like if I want to do something harder than what's here, I can just click harder. And, and it'll do harder. And if I want to do more time, I just click the time and it'll switch over to time. Now, you have these trainer-led videos. Then you have these adaptive workouts. Adaptive is based on how well you're doing the workout. It might increase the workout intensity or decrease it. Um, Trainer videos is just like what it talks about. You're with a trainer that's going to kind of tell you what to do. And uh, then you have these standard workouts, which are just kind of like, kind of see the, uh, whoops, I knew I was going to do that. 
you kind of see the incline going up. The intensity goes up. The intensity goes down. You kind of get an idea what the workout's like. And then if, if like you don't want to do the recommended, then you go over to programs and they have them organized. Uh, I've actually got a filter set up now. So let me clear the filters. And it'll start with like a 10 to 19, 20 to 29, 30 to 39. And there's just gobs of these workouts. Gobs. Gobs. Now, when you select a workout, let's say I'm going to do this one. It tells you there's options. You can do streaming video, which would be like Netflix, Discovery Plus, that sort of thing. You can do music or explore the world. Now, I've used the music. It, it's okay. Let me just go ahead and show you. So this is the screen that comes up. you got Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, Disney Plus, HBO Max. You can watch anything on those. If you have a subscription to those, you don't get the subscription included with your membership. You have to already have a subscription to those. I've not even set it up. I hate watching TV. Then you've got music, and it puts them in categories. And I've done a couple that I did the rock alternative. I think I done the EDM. Now, one thing that's kind of lacking down here, there's no metal, like, like metal music. So if you're into metal music, you're probably going to need to use an MP3 player because the rock alternatives, not quite as hard as what I would expect. Then for Explore the World, you have all of these different areas you can go to. Now, if I go into See All, it kind of gives them by country or that sort of thing. And then it's got some compilations. You know, so you can go down through here. Now, one of the things I've noticed is a lot of these are like city, cities and parks beaches, but there's not a lot that are really like trails. So if you're a trail runner, you're going to be kind of limited on what you have here. There are a few that are trails, but not like what I think is a trail. Like even though this, this right here looks cool, you're basically going to be running on a road. Um, one of the ones that is a trail, but it is kind of like a, uh, it's, it's more like a public trail that's being groomed. I think it's this Sequoia National Forest one. That's like a, a trail, but it's being groomed. And there was another one that was in Germany. That's a trail that was pretty cool. But a lot of them aren't really like trail running. They're more like roads or groomed paths um, or public parks. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back because I want to show you one of the cool things. So let's say you select a workout and then basically you select one of these. It would stream that video so that you kind of like feel like you're there doing that workout. But when you do that, you still have to set your incline and decline and your speed manually. Now, another thing I found out was that if you go to straight to explore the world, so you skip the program, you go to explore the world, there are these ones in here that are called, I have to find one. <laughs> Auto adjust. If it says auto adjust, it will do the incline and decline based on what the terrain is doing. So if you're going uphill, it'll automatically incline. And if you're going downhill, it'll automatically decline. That's pretty cool. I really like those. I went in and found everyone that has auto adjust and added it to my favorites. So down here, we got explore the world, Joshua tree, Las Vegas, because those are pretty cool. Those are so that so that you 
can't really get used to the route. Like if I'm going to do it manually, I might start out with an incline of three and I might just leave it there. I might start with an incline of six or 12 or something. I might just leave it there where the auto adjust is going to be moving up and down during the whole workout based on the terrain. That's pretty cool. I really like that. Um, but one of the things that I said, if I am wrong about something, I, I'm going to admit to it. So I started out on the M8 and I didn't do the journey subscription. When I got the treadmill, I got a year free of the journey subscription. And when it expires, I'm definitely going to renew it. Because one of the things that I found out is there might be days that I come in here to work out and I'm just kind of feeling like, bleh, I don't really want to do the workout. I'm going to do the workout. I just don't really have the motivation to really give it my all. But what you'll find out is the programs, and let me just start one up. Uh, we'll, we'll just do this, and I'm not actually going to do it other than to let you hear what happens. So I'm going to hit select. I'm going to do like, let's just do this. Uh, let's just do this one. And then we'll listen to what happens. Good afternoon, Ed. A midday workout. Awesome. Let's warm up. Started a very light effort. Let's do this for two and a half minutes. Now, as you can see, it's kind of like a voice led where she's saying we're going to work out for two minutes. Fine. She's going to be quiet mostly for two minutes. But what's going to happen is... When it comes time to We're do... We're crushing the... goals today. In this short workout, you'll progressively pace your way upward at a medium to high incline. Midway, you'll hit an extra hard push for 30 seconds. Then, at a low incline, you'll steadily decrease your pace for the second half. You know why you're here. Chase that goal of yours. A better you is within reach. So what I'm really getting at is the motivation that happens by having someone talking to you while you're working out. Now I'm I'm just walking at a very slow pace, way slower than I would actually do it just because I'm recording this video. But what happens is is the voice itself will motivate you to actually work out harder than you feel like working out on your own. So that is awesome. And I have found that the days that I don't want to work out, that once I select that program and the voice starts and they start motivating you and we're coming up on the two minutes, so she's about to remind us what we're about to do. And you'll probably hear that motivation because this will be the first work workout. So let's wait and see. We're almost done warming up. Let's get going. Ready to pick up the effort? Okay, pick up your effort a bit. Either way, the 90 second workout paused. The point that I'm trying to make okay, is Okay, that's it for now. Bye. The point that I'm trying to make is during the whole entire workout the voice is going to motivate you, like pick up your pace. You know, there are other sayings that are kind of like throughout the workouts that just really kind of motivates you to do better. Now, on the tablet, you basically get all the same features. And let me go ahead and get this turned on to show you here.
So on the tablet, you have the Journey app. And I'm going to have to log in or actually connect it to the... Uh, before it'll do anything. And I'm not actually going to work out, so that's fine. So once you're connected, again, you have the same thing where you have like, you select the time. And then it gives you some suggestions. These are my suggested workouts just for you. Then you go into the programs. Again, there's all kinds of workouts you can do. You have Explore the World. Again, these are like places you can do your workouts at. They're actually pretty cool. Um, then you have training videos that are instructor-led. Then you have your favorites. And then you have Learn. And then you also, both of them have, and I forgot to go over, you also have full body workouts. Now, on this one, you can't really do whole body on the Bowflex Max M8. But they do have, uh, yeah, they do have full body workouts available in other parts. You can kind of see here, full body strength, arms and shoulders, full body hit, yoga. So I think that for $149 a year, and this is kind of where I'm going to renege on what I used to say. Um, I, I think that it's well worth it. Um, and I'm not sponsored by Bowflex. I did these videos, you know, initially on the M8 just to give other people like when I first bought mine, there wasn't really any third party videos on YouTube on the Bowflex Max. And even today, if you look at Bowflex T22, which is their top of the line treadmill. There's hardly nobody doing videos on them on YouTube. And this thing's a great machine. Like spec wise, it supports people heavier than most treadmills. I think it goes up to 400 pounds. Most treadmills are 300. It has up to a five degree decline 20 degree incline most treadmills are 0 to 12 degrees they don't have the decline at all and they only go to 12 um, the speed goes up to 12 most treadmills do go to 12 this has a supposedly rated now i've not actually tested or anything like that i'm going by the specs supposedly a four horsepower motor most are in the three to three and a quarter and I mean, this thing's been rock solid. It, it took me and another man to actually carry this when it was shipped here into my house. I couldn't do it by myself, even on a dolly. So that's one thing. Um, but yeah, I think that if you think about this, like you think of how the world is, if people complain about something, everybody knows about it. But when there are good things to say about something, no one ever really says anything. So what I'm saying is I've had the Bowflex Max now for four years. It broke down once. I think the console went out of it and they sent me another one. And uh, then I, based on my experience with it is why I bought this one. Um, the Bowflex treadmill. And again, I've been extremely happy with it. Again, I'm not sponsored by Bowflex. They didn't pay me or give me anything to do these reviews. I just done them because there's not a lot of stuff out there. A lot of people just don't review them because there's nothing to complain about with them. That's what I'm getting at. So if you're looking to get either a treadmill or a stair stepper, you know, look at the Bowflex lines. They're, they're well worth it. I, I think I would buy both of them over again. Uh, no questions asked. You know, now, now that I've owned, I think I've had the Bowflex now about maybe five weeks. The, the treadmill I've had about five weeks and this one I've had four years. Now again, if I was going to only keep one item in my whole entire gym, my whole fitness room, I would... 
I would keep the Bowflex Max and get rid of everything else just because it's multi-purpose. It'll do weight loss. It'll also build muscle. The way you build muscle on a Bowflex Max is you set the resistance high. So you have really hard resistance, high resistance, and you're working your arms, so your upper body, your legs, your lower body. You will build muscle. I've done it. Now, the reason why I got the treadmill was because I've gotten back into running. And, uh, you know, the, the, the movement on the stair stepper is different than running. So my goal was I would go to a treadmill, run on a treadmill. I, I probably haven't run in 20 years regularly. But I would start out running on the treadmill and then transition to running outside. That's kind of like my goal. And why I bought the treadmill. Now the other nice thing about having the treadmill is. I've actually got where I'm walking about 20,000 steps a day. Just because it's convenient. I can walk in here and turn this on 30 minutes at a time. Like I get a break at work or something. I just walk in here turn the treadmill on. Walk at a slow place. Um, something I'm not said on YouTube but I'll just go ahead and say it was in May where I'd been sedentary after the cancer treatment. You know, it's been almost two years now. It's November, so it's been almost two years since my cancer treatment. And basically, I put on a bunch of fat and lost a whole bunch of muscle. Well, every day, like I'd notice it, I'd get up, I'd look in the mirror, I'd see myself, I'd step on a scale, I'd see what the scale said. And I finally just decided I'm... I'm taking control of that because that's never been me. And uh, I set a goal that in six months I would be down in the teens body fat. I'm shooting for 10 to 13% body fat by Thanksgiving. And uh, I'm on course to get that. Uh, whether or not it actually happens or not. Left to be seen, we still have about three more weeks, I think. Three or four more weeks. Either way... I wanted to basically update you because a lot of people used to ask me on the Bowflex Max videos whether or not I had the subscription. I told them, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have it for almost four years. But now I have it and there's no way I'd probably not have it in the future. That's really what I wanted to say. And I'm kind of going back, you know, on my original statement where I was like, I mean, the machines works without it. There, I've now tried to ever use this one without it, so I don't know or not. But this one does work without it, and I just never got it because I didn't think I'd use it. But now that I have it, I use it every day. <laughs> I use the Journey subscription on one or the other, or sometimes both every day. So there's no way I'd ever do without it now. I think that 140 seven or 149 whatever it costs you know if it as long as it stays in about that area i think that it's a, a good value for what you get from it and um uh, that, that's really all i wanted to say sorry i let this video get 23 minutes long but just wanted to update you uh kind of like an initial review of the bowflex t22 treadmill a long-term review of the bowflex max m8 and my thoughts on both, and hopefully you have enjoyed these videos. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.